My name's Claire McDermott and I was delivering a jingle workshop this afternoon for the Radio 1 Academy. There are members of BBC Northern Ireland, BBC Learning and BBC Radio 1 at the workshop. The young people were given a very specific brief in that they had to produce an ident or a jingle for Bee Treats who's taking over from Annie Mack when she goes off on maternity leave. The jingle that they wanted to make was for the special delivery feature and Bee Treats came on via video and introduced the brief to the young people and explained exactly what they needed to do. The young people were given some hardware, some software and the brief and they had three hours to make a jingle. So first of all, once we had heard the brief, we had a quick brainstorm among the attendees to see how they could come up with a jingle that would have certain colloquialisms or localisms or Northern Ireland phrases that would be familiar to the audience. The young people then had a go at using the hardware and the software and the software that we were using for the workshop was Audacity because it's free and you know, people can download that themselves at home. Uh, we also used some Olympus recorders which are really straightforward and easy to use. Everyone had a set of headphones and a microphone as well so they had a quick play around with recording and then they took it on turns to leave the room and find a quiet space and do their actual recording. Oi you! Beat Trades with the special delivery of BBC Radio 1. Wow! So two of the Radio 1 producers, Sarah and Becky, came in and had a listen to everyone's work and I think they were really impressed with what they heard and hopefully some of the jingles will be used on Radio 1. So all in all it was a very successful day. I got to learn more on the production side, like how you make a jingle. Not just that funny thing you hear on the radio before a song comes on. It was a lot of fun, yeah, learning the whole process behind it. Um, it was a great day, yeah, loved it. It was really fun and now it makes me actually consider a career in radio. 